Hi everybody, this is Kat and I'm the MCAT expert at Magoosh. And today we are talking with Ashley Melcho. So this is a student who was one of the very first students to take the shortened MCAT in 2020. And I know there are so many questions about this, um, questions about how to change your study techniques, pacing, what it's like to go through the test with social distancing, social distancing in place. And so we're gonna hit on all of that and it's just going to be, you know, I have a set of questions for her, but it's going to be a casual conversation. So Ashley is a recent graduate, 2020, from University of South Carolina, and her majors were a BA in ballet and BS in biology. Welcome, Ashley. Can you tell our listeners a little bit more about um, about how you have been juggling your time? So you recently graduated. What has your day-to-day -day balance looked like over the past couple months? Hey, Kat. So um, it's been kind of up and down with like going on to online school, finishing out my year like that. And um, as a, I've been, I'm reapplying this year for med school. So it's been very different from my first year of studying. And I had to wait for a while to like, get answers from a lot of different schools and everything so it was more I kind of rushed into it once I like finally figured out I wasn't going to med school this year and then once like that that date hit it was like full force ahead was, like school had just finished so I was like well just like studying was my new my new school and my new job <laughs> so. yeah, yeah yeah and and so this, um, so you've taken the MCAT before. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your previous experience taking the MCAT, like when it happened and what um, prompted you to go ahead and, and retake it? Yeah, so um, last year I like started the application process pretty late and I didn't take the MCAT until June of 2019, and then I wasn't happy with my score, so I took it again in September, which really delayed all my applications, and so that might be why I didn't get in, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you took the MCAT um, before last year, did you already mm -hmm. have all of the prereqs at that point? I did, yes. Okay. And um, so you're, so you were studying for the MCAT again during your last year of college. And um, did, were there any techniques you used to try and keep the content fresh as you were going through that last year, given that you weren't taking the core courses at that time? Um, so I had like, I was taking like extra courses like neurobiology, stuff that wasn't required on the MCAT, but was still be good to keep my mind you know fresh and um I used Magoosh actually this time and I hadn't the last time so that was kind of a new like it's the same material but it's just a different way of learning it and mm -hmm. hearing hearing it a different way so that helped yeah great and what were some of the things about Magoosh um either features you used or things that you felt were most helpful uh that you would like to share with us um, so I really liked the day-to-day -day study plan and it was very, you can choose like how long you have to study and exactly how long and they, the algorithm, you know, changes it for you. And so when I, I, did, I tried self-studying last year and that was my biggest like challenge was trying to figure out what do I need to study today? Mm -hmm. And with the Magoosh, it was very, I mean, it laid out, it had lists of courses and lessons that you needed to do and there were break days and it was it worked very well for me that's, that's great that's that's good to hear so you used one of the in-app study schedules as part of your process yes i did do you remember which one you used how many months um i actually used the one month one, the one month yeah and it was it was a lot because it had all the information but it so it was between i think three and seven hour days sometimes uh -huh. and yeah. so which worked really well because i didn't have anything else to do nice so, yeah cool 
Uh, and what other resources did you use, either this time or in the past, to mm -hmm. help you prep? Um, so I used the AAMC practice exams. Mm -hmm. um, I got, I think, two of those. And that helped as well. And like, like Magush has their own practice tests and those were helpful too, but it was nice knowing like this comes from AAMC. So that was yeah. helpful. And then I, I watched a lot of, I think it was like MCAT self prep was what I used mm -hmm. last year. I'm not exactly sure. Mm -hmm. But, um, and again, it was, it, it was good, like short videos, but it, it wasn't, I didn't have the, the structure that I needed personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we hear that a lot from students, structure, motivation, guidance, some of the, the biggest things that people struggle with. Uh, so, and in terms of the application process right now, so you have, have you already submitted the first parts of your application? For this um, upcoming I have year, not. Mm -hmm. I am still working on personal statement and mm -hmm. figuring out which schools I want to go to. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and for for the students who have been taking these initial exams, so the end of mm -hmm. May and June, I know that, and even really July, I know that it, it's a huge struggle trying to figure out how to balance the studying with the applications. Um, did you have a technique for this or did you just kind of decide, you know, MCAT first and then I'll worry, I'll get to the rest of the applications once that's done with? So as a reapplicant, it is kind of nice because a lot of the course information that takes a couple hours to put in is already in there. And so there's some stuff, you know, that cuts down on the time to reapply. Um, mm -hmm. As I like sent out my request for letters of recommendation kind of early because that's more email clerical work than brain power i guess okay. um and then after i took it and then i really started focusing on the personal statement and oh. the the stuff that needs time to work on and mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah yeah great uh, so i'm going to go ahead and move into one of the most kind of uh, for many people, memorable experiences of this past year, which was the registration process. So um, re-registering after exam cancellations. Um, I had asked you before our interview if you had any exams canceled and you had told me that you had not. Uh, so what was your process like in terms of registering? So um, how did you make your choices about what you registered for? Did you get your first choice? Tell us a little bit about that. So, um, it was really hectic. <laughs> I had like, I didn't really know when I wanted to take it. And I had just decided that I would be retaking it and reapplying when everything happened. And so I got, I think a couple emails because I had different MCAT, you know, emails going on. And it was like, what to do for the day it opens up. And I was like, I should probably look at that. So oh, yeah. I was, yeah. and then so within like two days, I had figured out like when I when's the best day to take it, when I need to, when it'll give me enough time to get in the first wave of cycles, and so I got up early, got on there <laughs> on the site, and as everyone else has showed, it was, you know, you're on the wait list, and yeah. I think I was on the wait list for five hours. Yeah, it was it was a long time. And my computer like fell asleep during one of them, so I lost my spot. Uh, and so it was like, and then we were was coming back from somewhere, and I was I had a hotspot my computer because I was in the car. Mm -hmm. um, so that was difficult. But once I finally got in, I decided to take it in Florida with my because that's where my mom lives, and I also it's not a very populated town, so I figured that would be my best chance. To get a spot, and I got the time, noon, and the date, June fifth, that I wanted, mm -hmm. um, like right away. So that was nice. Yeah. Um, but it did take a very long time to get to that page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those noon spots were really desirable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a lot of people in <laughs> in more Great. populated areas really um, were were fighting for those spots. 
Um, anything else about the registration process that that was significant or memorable, either that day or um, thoughts about it before or afterwards? Um, nothing super memorable, but I am, like I said, I'm glad I got the noon one because it was definitely it was so nice having the morning just to like prepare myself. So. Right, right. Yeah. Great. And we will talk a little bit more about the exam itself, but there were a few questions I still had on your study process uh, and specifically about studying for the shortened exam. Mm -hmm. So um, tell me this, this most recent time that you studied for the MCAT, uh, and I know that you said you used the one month study schedule with Magoosh. How long did you study? So at least one month. Did, were, did you start studying before that month with Magoosh for this most recent time? Um, I hadn't. This was I had been doing the the self prep, you know, and I kind of. <laughs> sorry, my dog's like. <laughs> um, I I like kept up my studies a little bit, but I had the hopes of getting into med school, so I kind of let it down. And then as I like, once I knew I wouldn't be going, then it was just like full force ahead. So I like would keep fresh with some of the basic concepts and try to okay. do it when I could, but it wasn't really as serious as I probably should have been for mm -hmm. a majority of the second part of my semester. Okay. And all some, so thinking about both this year and last year together, mm -hmm. what would you estimate your, your breakdown was approximately between reviewing content and answering practice questions? It's one of the most common questions I get asked. Um, I would say I reviewed, like, probably 70% to 30%. 70% content? 30%, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And 30% questions. Okay. Um, but I also had, didn't have a lot of resources last year that mm -hmm. provided me with practice questions. Mm -hmm. So I would, like, watch videos of people going through practice questions but like myself doing them I hadn't I think I only did a couple so whereas with Magush I did a lot more okay great uh so how did you pace yourself during your studying so especially once you knew that you were going to be taking a shortened exam um how did that play into your your studying knowing that the, the, each one of the exam sections was gonna be a little shorter than it had been before? Um, I really tried to let it not affect me mm -hmm. and because I figured it would be the same difficulty. Mm -hmm. um, only thing would be, you know, didn't have to work my mind for an extra hour. But the, if anything, it kind of motiva motivated me a little bit more because it was like these questions mean more and they're like oh. worth more. Uh huh. So, um, I tried to like just study and do the questions as though nothing had changed. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. I never really thought about it. Yeah, that's interesting. No, that's really interesting because that's something that students both uh, often worry about is that oh no, each question is going to count for more. Um, and even though it's a pretty subtle difference, it is a difference. But it sounds like in your case that actually motivated you. It made it seem yeah. more. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Did you have any pacing techniques in place? Did like some people time themselves minutes per passage or just try and keep uh, an eye on the watch and figure out when the halfway point is? Did, what was your technique for that? Um, so for the pacing, I always found myself like every time I was early, which is was really weird. I was not expecting it. I'm not a super fast reader. Um, which kind of led me to believe that maybe I'm like skimming through stuff and I should be taking more time. So I just kind of, I noticed that like what's happening. Mm -hmm. I don't like, and it happened like with the, in the test too, I would finish early. And so hmm. this time I was like, I need to figure out how I was doing that. And I need to like actually slow down. And I, cause I would get kind of anxious when I, especially if it was a passage that I wasn't super familiar and like mm -hmm. kind of overwhelmed me, like told myself like hey it's okay like you can you have time to go back and read it all over again like there is enough time for that mm -hmm. for me, at least so mm -hmm. that's what I focused on actually great 
Nice. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, preparing for the social distancing measures. So um, as of now, I think all or, or maybe at least the vast majority of testing centers are requiring people to wear masks during the actual exam. Did you do any practice wearing a mask or gloves? Um, I, I didn't have to wear gloves, so that was good. And oh. I did wear a mask during one practice exam. Mm -hmm. So, and like, it didn't make that much of a difference because, mm -hmm. you know, we've all been wearing masks everywhere we go. <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. do, sitting there for five, six hours is a little difficult. Mm -hmm. they, like for me, I got like, I was warmer than I normally would be. And, I didn't need a jacket, so it, it, it wasn't super difficult, but, like, I did notice it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that was, that was when you were um, practicing, or that was during the exam that you felt like you got a little warm and everything? Um, it was both, actually. Both, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you probably sort of knew what to expect since you'd yeah. gone through it during the studying. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've heard a lot of um, stories of students like sweating, you know, because of the nervousness and then, mm -hmm. you know, that's a distraction with the mask. Yeah. Um, was there anything else that you were concerned about prior to taking the exam about different measures in place? Um, I was a little concerned about the break time because uh -huh. we only got the the three ten minute, right? Um, so, which I it was a little bit because I remember before when I took it, like I didn't need the thirty minutes, and I was kind of anxious to get back in there. Mm -hmm. But it was it did kind of miss that like mm -hmm. chance to just relax. Yeah, because um, it was you know get out, go to the bathroom, get a snack, go back in. <laughs> Like, they uh -huh. didn't have much time to waste. Yeah. Um, but then again, it is shorter and it did go quicker. So, like, I was never hungry. I, you know, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was, I did miss that little relaxation time. Yeah. Yeah. And that's actually great because I'm going to move into questions now more specifically about taking the exam, the shortened MCAT. Um, so how did you feel going into the test on that day? So you took it at, at 12 or was it, was it exactly, is it exactly 12? No, I'm 12 forgetting. 15. 12, 15. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, how were you feeling that morning? So I had like a, a 20 minute drive. So I think I left an hour early because I wanted to get my, my coffee and do that mm -hmm. early and everything. Mm -hmm. And thankfully I was actually with my mom because my car battery was dead when I oh, tried to start my car and she didn't have to go into work that day. So we were like, okay, take our car and go. So oh. that was like first fiasco, okay, out of the way. Wow. Um, and then I had my Starbucks and I ordered it on the mobile app and the Starbucks didn't let me go in to pick it up. So I had to wait in the long line. Oh. To, I was like nervous about it. And I mean, I, I got it and I was fine. But, you know, it was just like, little things that you're not expecting. So yeah. I could have plenty of time. Yeah. Um, so I, once I got there, it was like front, like right on the front door was, you know, you have to wear a mask before you enter this building. So it's mm -hmm. the whole office building, not just uh, Pearson. Mm -hmm. um, the, like going into it was basically the same as before. Um, to give you a chance to go to the bathroom, take your picture, your palm print, mm -hmm. and give you your locker key. I actually, I didn't have very many other people there with me, so it was very, I didn't have to wait, which was nice. Mm -hmm. um, but the addition of the mask, you, got, you had to flip it inside out and show it, and do all that stuff, so. Yeah, yeah. Do you feel like, I think one of the, the really great things um, about having you on the interview today is that you really do have the experience of what the other exam was like to take and what this one was like. Um, do you feel like it took much longer to check in this time or was it pretty comparable to other times? Um, I think it was about the same. 
just a mm-hmm. couple seconds more to show the inside of the mask. And sometimes they sanitize my ID, like, oh, which was interesting. And it wasn't every time. Not every time. Huh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, there was, so it was during the, the car section and I had yawned and the mask like went down beneath my nose. And I was like, well, that's kind of nice. <laughs> and there was no one around me. And I was like, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, and the doctor came over and tapped me and like made me put it back up. So. <laughs> okay. yeah. you, you have to, they're very very strict on that. Yeah, yeah. Over there the whole time, which you know makes sense. That's the equal for everyone. But um, right. But yeah. Right. So then I was kind of like, oh, I got in trouble, you know. Yeah. So, so that was a little nervous. That's a lot of stuff actually to happen on test day, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, so there's the car, there's the long line at Starbucks, then there's the, the being tapped by the proctor. Yeah. So then, how did you manage your anxiety about all of that? Like, what was your mindset? So, it, well, I'm a, like, I, don't know, I got very self-conscious of like, oh, they're watching me now. And like, I, I just kind of like tried to move that away and you know, like, focus on what I was reading and like, just, mm. like get into the passage. Mm-hmm. Um, however, there also during my the biology section, there was this massive thunderstorm like mm-hmm. right outside. I, like the blinds were closed, and I could see the lightning. And I was like, I don't get put off by storms very right? like often, so mm-hmm. this one was like right there. And so mm-hmm. it was like, oh my gosh, what if the power goes out and I have to retake the test and everything? And that's mm-hmm. like all what that's all I could think about. Mm-hmm. And so that was also nerve wracking and. I never mm-hmm. had to like, I never thought about preparing for taking in guy during a storm. So mm. just like whatever you said, advice would be whatever you can think of to calm yourself down and get yourself like back into it and mm-hmm. be present in there in the moment and try not to let your mind wander. Yeah. Yeah. Great advice. Yeah. It sounds like two things that, that kind of came up. One is just giving yourself plenty of time to get to the mm-hmm. testing center. And then second, you know, you said, you know, get back in the moment, focus on <clears throat> the actual exam and test questions. I think those are both really good tips for people who will be taking the exam soon. So let's um, talk a little bit about um, the experience of the exam itself. So you just kind of open-ended um, and you can maybe also be reflecting on what it was like in the past, but generally, how did you feel about the exam? Um, did it seem any harder or easier than the ones you've taken in the past? Um, anything notable that came up during the exam taking experience? Um, so for the like, I really, I don't know, I didn't really notice too much of a difference from the the long, the normal one and the short one. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a little bit like I didn't feel myself wander as much as I felt with the regular one. Mm-hmm. So like my attention was just, I think a little bit better. And yeah. I don't know if that was just a mental of, I know this isn't as long, so mm-hmm. you know, it shouldn't affect me as bad. Or if the practice actually helped, you know, I don't know. I, um, <laughs> there, that was, Really, the main thing, the questions themselves were any harder, easier. It was mm-hmm. very, I would say, just about as hard as the other one. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And like all MCATs are very different. So right. That's different right. questions, different focuses. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. Were, were the there aspect is about the same? Okay. And, and you had said that generally you felt like you finished a little bit early on each sections or on some mm-hmm. of the sections. Was that, was that true across? Was it, were there any sections you didn't finish? Um, last, last year during taking the normal one, I think there was, I think I had to rush through the biology. Mm-hmm. Um, and this time I like, you know, try to take my time and everything. And I, um, was like up to the end on that one. So Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to rush through that one, but um, I didn't have a ton of time left over. In all cases, I had a lot of time on the psych and social. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah, which, so you've taken this a couple times now. So 
overall, which sections would you say are your strengths or weaknesses, or are they balanced across sections? Um, I've, I scored pretty evenly, actually, across mm -hmm. the board. Mm -hmm. um, the physical sciences mm -hmm. is, has been my worst. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I think that's a lot to do with just memorizing all the equations and knowing what drums to use and when to use them and mm -hmm. yeah, stuff like that. Right, um, right. So. One question that comes up, I would say I probably answer it once a week, maybe not quite that often, but it feels like it is um, how much physics is on the MCAT. And of course, there is, you know, they have very strong guidelines about you can't disclose exactly what the questions mm -hmm. were in the MCAT. But um, have you noticed the different times you've taken the MCAT, a, sort of a variation in physics? Like sometimes it's really emphasized absolutely. and other times it isn't. You, yeah, you have, okay. Yes, absolutely. Um, the first one I took was, I, don't, I would say almost like 30% of the questions are physics. It, it felt like a lot. Mm -hmm. um, the second one was the opposite, like there's this, there was one or two questions at the end. Like it was, mm. I was shocked because I was like, I need to know this. And then there was just none. Yeah. And then this last time was kind of in the middle, um, mm -hmm. a decent amount, but not, not like a big focus like it was the first time. So it varies. But. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any other insights about just kind of overall distribution of concepts that you, that might be of interest to people watching? Um, if you can find a way to like, relate yourself to the story and like even uh -huh. if it's fake interest get interested in it it helps right. understand it a lot better right um on this last test there was one passage and i like i couldn't get it <laughs> i couldn't get into it i couldn't i was like there there were some like four line sentences so i was like i don't know what i just read and it was very very frustrating mm -hmm. like it something mm -hmm. happened but mm -hmm. know, just finding interest in it is yeah key. That's that's great advice if we're on so many levels. Yeah, yeah. To to become invested in the passage. Yeah, yeah. and fake it. Yeah, fake your interest. <laughs> yeah, I, I always say like pretend you're in a movie and you're auditioning for a movie where you have to show that you're interested in this passage. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a little bit different because it's an internal game versus acting. But right. um, there's something about just kind of like pretending that it's interesting. But sometimes you have the passages like you just described, and it's. Was that a passage? Did you decide to skip that one and come back to it? Or did you just kind of power um, through it? I powered through it because it, I like, you know, I think it's because I'm nervous about the time that I rushed through everything. Mm -hmm. But um, I just kind of went through it. I was like, just answer questions. If you have time again, you can go back. Yeah. And I tried to go back and I was just like, I was done with it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Much. Yeah. So um, overall, I mean, you've, you've been pretty thorough and you've said some things about differences between this exam and the other one. Um, mainly, it sounds like you said the real difference you noticed, if any, I, there were some subtle differences and mostly just that the exam felt a little shorter. Any, anything else? Any, and if not, that's fine. But um, anything about this exam versus the ones you've taken in the past that felt different? The, the main thing would be the break, just being shorter. Um, mm -hmm. I think if there were more people, so if it was like a more populated area and there were a lot of people testing that day, mm -hmm. I could see that feeling like kind of maybe more nerve wracking and trying to like just yeah. distance. Cause I, I, okay, I didn't, really didn't have to worry about it. I was the only one on my break, like the break mm -hmm. was like, so there wasn't anyone in the, the room when I was in the room uh -huh. or like in the, waiting room outside the lockers uh -huh. but for other people that I could see where that might be uh anxious and nerve-wracking um yeah. I I think practicing with the mask on is great Good. I I bought two masks because mm -hmm. I had like my cloth one that I bought and then I had like a disposable medical one because I, mm -hmm. I knew I got like warm in the hot in the cloth one mm -hmm. so I figured mm -hmm. if I if mm -hmm. it was really bothering me I could go to something else Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. have an option so. nice nice and when you practice did you try both to see um i just tried the cloth one because i didn't mm -hmm. have the disposal one until i got here <laughs> but, okay um, yeah yeah and so uh, you had mentioned breaks and that's i'm glad you brought that up because i had, i mm -hmm. i'm 
wondering sort of how did you plan on using your three 10 minute breaks and how did you actually wind up using them or if there were any differences? So I, <clears throat> from previous times, I realized I liked to have coffee like during all breaks. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I got a nice large iced coffee so it wouldn't, you know, so it'd stay cold. And um, that like wanted to have that because probably more of a mental game, but you know, it's like something nice that made me happy. I enjoyed mm -hmm. it. So I think that have a food or a drink that makes you happy. Nice. <laughs> and you can just be like, oh, this is nice. This is enjoy enjoyable. I always went to the bathroom first because that was mm -hmm. like priority number one. Mm -hmm. And then I brought, I'd bring like different, I brought some vegetables and some crackers and mm -hmm. sweets and just kind of like decided in the moment, like, what sounded good i yeah. never was really like hungry for something so uh -huh. yeah yeah good um okay so i'm going to move on to just kind of general reflection questions and then we will wrap up uh so thinking about the entire process for you of studying preparing for the exam taking the exam what are you most proud of um, I would say the but like end stretch right before the exam because I mm. had um so I was actually staying with my boyfriend's family and there were like there was a baby, a two year old, a ten year old and a whole bunch of people and it was just very like there was a lot of distractions. So mm -hmm. to be able to sit in a room and just like discipline myself and mm -hmm. do do the work, like listen to the videos, don't distract yourself. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think that was just being able to focus and do that was kind of a big strength. Yeah, um, great. It, it was difficult. I mean, there's little babies. Yeah. Around, and you're like, okay, someone someone come get them, you know. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> so this is kind of off topic, but I wanted to remind me, I would definitely recommend, like, especially if you're watching a lot of videos, to mm -hmm. have a notebook and take notes. Great. Um, I didn't for the first couple, and then I started to, and I was like, "Wow, like this is, mm -hmm. this is really helpful." Um, just for memorizing it, and especially reviewing it towards the end of just like, because there's a lot of stuff that gets said multiple times, and so once you hear it two or three times, you can start it or underline it, hi highlight it, and then when you mm -hmm. go back through your notes, that pops out, and you see that, and mm -hmm. more likely than not, you'll see it on the MCAT too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, what, let's see, what was the, oh, if you could redo one thing about studying for taking the exam, what would that be? I would have taken a practice exam, like sat down, no distractions, like in real life, like take time, like only 10 minutes for the break. I would have done that sooner. Mm -hmm. um, just to give me a better feel and understanding of like what it's going to be like because mm -hmm. I had done it before but I hadn't like I would try to take a shortened exam and just because I think that'll also help right. just calm the nerves of like it's different you know mm -hmm. so it's not it's not too different so yeah that be a good idea did you take Magusha's shortened exam were you able to take out? And, and, yeah. And that, and like I had the AAMC ones too, but right. the one, unless they changed it, I don't think they're shortened. They're um, not yet, no. So it's, it's a great resource, but just to get the idea of the timing, mm -hmm. just having the, the shortened exam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. yeah, cool. Good advice. So yeah, I noticed a lot of students try and, I call it almost like test hoarding, where students don't want to use up their exams, mm -hmm. and so they don't take them until the end. And it's just not at all my philosophy. I really strongly feel like people should take one one full length exam early, you know. And then of course you want to take a larger amount towards the end of your studies. But um, yeah, great. Let's see. Uh, what is the best advice that you received about studying for taking the MCAT? Like, everyone's kind of different. So everyone I talk to has like different 
ways of you know studying and how long they study and what they study um I wouldn't get too like invested in one person's way mm-hmm. like everyone's advice is mm-hmm. obviously very valuable but you know right. if you have a friend who's studying for two weeks on, on in physics like that's that's great maybe they, they really need it but that doesn't mean if you have six weeks you need to spend two of them studying for physics so just mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. being very self-aware of what you need and where you think you should spend your time because you know you Thanks. better than your friends do so. Yeah, great. That's that's excellent. Yeah, I think there's so, so much anxiety about taking the MCAT that students mm-hmm. will like go on Reddit and start looking for the one guru who has all the advice mm-hmm. and, instead of listening to themselves and looking at their own experience, knowing what works. Yeah, nice. Uh, so in addition to that, is is there any single one tip? You've given us lots of tips, and I thank you for that. But any last tip that you want to pass on to our listeners? I just reiterating, but take the, the full length soon. If you haven't taken it, like just do it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. even, if, even if you don't think you're ready, because you're never ready when you want to take it. Um, right. So then you can just, it's easier to see. Oh, uh, review the test. Yeah. Review them because it's, that's how you know what you don't know. And there's a lot of a lot of times you may guess the correct answer, so go through those right. as well. That's right. Because, um, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 That's great. Excellent. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this uh, conversation. Thanks again, Ashley, for joining us. Thanks for having me. Great talking. <laughs> And for those of you listening today, I do wish all of you good luck with your studies. And I hope you have a really smooth, peaceful journey, regardless of where you are right now, whether you're going to be taking the shortened MCAT this year or maybe not taking uh, the exam for another year. Uh, Stay safe out there and definitely check out the link below the video because we have a 20% off coupon for Magoosh. And if you're not familiar with Magoosh, we're an online course. And so you get access to lots of practice questions, videos, um, in-app, in-product, you might say, uh, study schedules that are on your dashboard that update automatically as you go through the content. So check that out and have a great uh, rest of your year.